So in your opinion how AI is changing the role of a business analyst today There is a you know a, a doubt in uh, you know many business analysts mind that whether AI is a threat or that's an opportunity uh, for a business analyst I would uh, say it's a matter of perception it's a matter of how you perceive AI to be for somebody who has not yet explored into ai space uh, yes ai is a threat for you and it's a alarm for you to uh, get up skilled soon i can even say that ai is equal to not artificial intelligence but i can also quote it as ai is equal to assisted intelligence what challenges did you face when you start uh, applying this ai concepts in your day to day activities initially yes i agree i also had that mindset uh, that ai is only for the so called software developers or the technical core technical team and it would not be useful for me in as a business analyst i have been able to use ai as my senior business analyst so today we are talking about a topic which is there in every bs mind how can they uh, get into ai space right so as every industries are using uh, ai in their uh, activities so bas also have a great opportunity to move into this space so how they can uh, leverage ai how they can uh, deliver more value with ai technology and how they can transform their uh, role into ai business analyst so to discuss this we have uh, mr webo punjabi who is a business analyst and recently uh, moved into uh, ai through tech canvas so we are doing to discuss about uh, how ai matters for a business analyst uh, what are the challenges uh, to learn this technology and how a beginner can uh, start his journey into ai space so uh, welcome uh, webo thanks yeah. for joining us on future path grateful Path. grateful and in gratitude to have this opportunity with tech canvas uh, yeah so uh, introducing myself uh, I, i have a one, one year banking experience uh, uh, having uh, that one year exposure into banking domain then switched into uh, business analyst i work with intellect design arena limited at mumbai uh, having about 3 years of experience as a business analyst uh, yeah uh, since ai is the next buzzword and the upcoming concept now uh, in the it sector uh, so it's very essential for somebody to have a learning mindset uh, be a student and learn ai uh, as a skill set in their own work expertise so in your opinion how ai is changing the role of a business analyst today yes uh, so ai i can say uh, we can uh, even observe at our uh, palms in the uh, mobiles uh, we have apple intelligence we have uh, galaxy ai in the samsung smartphone so it is not only limited to business analysis but uh, generic also uh, ai has wide applications uh, so it is necessary and uh, very essential for somebody to be ai enabled to uh, have a bright future uh, yeah uh, coming to business analysis is a uh, business analyst can use ai as a uh, tool for uh, drafting user stories uh, drafting user manuals uh, drafting and improvising the solution note contents brd that is the business requirement documents that we normally uh, draft right so business analyst is at the core of the project activities but essentially uh, the documentation related software documentation related profile is what the ba looks after so yes uh, there are various tools like grammarly quillbot which can be used as a paraphrasing tool to rephrase or retone the uh, content or drafted by the business analyst which would in turn improve the output of the solution note and the solution note or the requirement documents will be very much clear uh yeah uh, one more tool google notebook lm which i explored in the tech canvas course uh yes uh, google notebook in the google notebook lm uh, what uh, a business analyst can do or what i usually do is i give the requirement document or the solution document and ask questions based on the document whatever questions i am having so it can be used for stakeholder analysis which uh, ba is normally involved in uh yeah that's uh, how fruitful AI i can be uh, okay. in the day to day work activities yeah that that means like you have explored lot of ai tools uh, yes and you have been using them in your day to day yes, activities indeed. right yeah it's great so i mean there there is a you know a, a doubt in uh, you know many business analysts mind that uh, whether 
AI is a threat or that's an opportunity uh, for a business analyst. So what, what is your thought on that? Uh, I would uh, say it's a matter of perception. It's a matter of how you perceive AI to be. Okay. For somebody uh, who is a business analyst or not a business analyst, but for somebody who has not yet explored into AI space, uh, yes, AI is a threat for you and it's an alarm for you to uh, get upskilled soon. And uh, for somebody who is uh, already uh, upskilling on a day to day basis, on a regular weekend basis, uh, into various various seminars and various online certifications. Yes, AI can be an opportunity because uh, AI is the next uh, must have skill which would be uh, required for anybody who is into the software domain. That, that, that's true actually because uh, right. I feel that uh, AI is a boon for uh, you know every uh, profile, every industry now, sure. right? And yeah. uh, now, uh, I mean, many business analysts, uh, they have started using AI in their uh, day, day, day to day activities, right? Correct. So it's an opportunity actually, and you can use AI as your assistant, right? Correct. Yeah. Uh, so uh, to, add, to adding to it, uh, yes, I can even say that AI is equal to not artificial intelligence, but I can also quote it as AI is equal to assisted intelligence, mm -hmm. wherein I can have uh, AI as my virtual assistant or I can quote it, uh, AI as my virtual business analyst who assist me in my day to day activities. Yeah, yeah that, that, that's good actually. Yeah. Assistant Intelligence. intelligence. Oh, great. Yeah. All right. So what challenges did you face when you start uh, applying these AI concepts in your day to day activities? Yeah, uh, having done my education into post graduation into masters in management studies and then uh, working uh, one year into a bank and then three years into a software domain. Yes, it was quite challenging for myself to accept me and uh, accept that I want to learn and upskill into the AI space. I, I had to have the role or mindset of a, a student to be having uh, been able to learn the new upskill uh, upskill criteria and domains uh, yes uh, and also uh, like a car has a learning license given to you you need to have a learning license to uh, upskill into ai and be curious uh, have a curious mindset uh, and question the status quo on how ai is uh, rapidly changing uh, it is a technology so technology keeps on evolving you have to evolve with uh, the journey of the technology as it goes right right i mean of course yeah uh, yeah so good, good example actually so i mean again uh, another thread actually in very bs uh, mind uh, that ai is too technical so what are your thoughts on that? Is it really uh, true or uh, I mean, it's not? Initially, yes, I agree. I also had that mindset uh, that AI is only for the so-called software developers or the technical core technical team. And it would not be useful for me in as a business analyst because I'm into software documentation, software related documentation. It would not be useful. But then that was not the case. Uh, when I joined a course at Tech Canvas, I uh, explored that how job profile specific or how domain specific uh, AI can be used and there are use cases uh, there is no limit on how AI can be explored and how AI can be used productively. Okay great so what mind shift is needed uh, to embrace AI uh, in your role? I already quoted before, uh, I would reiterate it, that uh, learning mindset is essential. Uh, having been a bit curious to learn into and explore into AI opportunities is what uh, I would say. Uh, yeah, and having an experiment uh, mindset that I will experiment, I will apply AI in this area and then uh, explore something that, okay, whatever the output would be, I would uh, be acceptable or maybe I would make mistakes mistakes but uh, you have to make mistakes to have the learning mindset and you have to keep on exploring on how AI can be used. So at this point I would like to highlight uh, something very important uh, to our audience because there are a lot of BAs they are curious uh, about getting into AI technology but they don't know where to begin. So here at Tech Canvas we have created a course which is created for the uh, aspirants who do not have a deep technical uh, background but they still want to leverage AI and they want to use this technology into their day-to-day -day activities. So this particular course is going to bridge the gap between uh, the AI concepts and the actual uh, the practical BA uh, tasks. So to uh, know more about this course you can check our details in the description box.
So how did you start your uh, AI journey then? Uh, yeah, I uh, started my AI journey when there was a boon uh, or I can say that there were various chatbots. Uh, one of the popular chatbot was ChatGPT which came into the market and people started using even at their fingertips in the mobile apps, Gemini. Uh, so I kept on prompting for not only my professional journey as a business analyst, like uh, I would give you an example that you can assign a particular role. Uh, also AI is all dependent on the prompt that you give to uh, the AI tools uh, which are available so that the efficiency of the output that you uh, give might vary. So uh, I even uh, can quote you an example that uh, you can have a picture of your palm uh, given to AI and you can say you are an astrologer you are supposed to uh, predict my future it will give you some key takeaways on on the basis of your future as well that how your future is uh, likely to be uh, yeah and uh, one more uh, generic example is uh, my mother was scheduled to go to US uh, we were uh, in the, on the urge of uh, preparing the tour itinerary I just uh, used AI and uh, told AI that you are my tour escort, you are supposed to uh, prepare a tour itinerary for a US tour uh, from date so and so till date so and so and I am scheduled to uh, stay at New Jersey so and so place, uh, give me a tour itinerary uh, with details, uh, it gave me a tour itinerary as well, this is uh, the prompt which I gave to chat GPT and it gave me the output. Yeah, that's great. I mean, it, that means like many of those, you know, people, they still feel that uh, chat GPT is the only tool actually. But as you know that, I mean, there are multiple tools. So. There are multiple tools. There are uh, even strengths and weaknesses of e each of the tool. Uh, th uh, every tool, the purpose of using the tool might be different. Like uh, I, uh, in one of the seminars that I attended, I have even heard that DeepSeek is uh, DeepSeek, the China AI uh, tool just like chatbot like chat gpt uh, it is good in mathematical calculations uh, some of the use cases uh, means it varies on it depends on the purpose for which you need to use the ai tool that's it the example which you gave of your uh, personal uh, trip to uh, i mean your mom's personal trip to uh, us yeah i mean that that shows that ai is not only for your uh, professional career i mean it can be used in your personal uh, you know activities yeah. as well a yes. lot right yes personal life also uh, so it depends on the role and context in which you use ai uh, you are supposed to so if I use it as a business analyst, I will write the prompt uh, uh, starting, you are a business analyst, you are supposed to draft so and so user story for me and uh, the quality of output will be brilliant. I have tried this myself. Yeah, that's true, yeah. right. Yeah. So how uh, Tech Canvas AI for a business analyst who's helped you in uh, your journey? Okay, so uh, generally generic concepts of AI or generative AI concepts and theories I was already exploring before I joined uh, Tech Canvas AI course. Uh, for a business analyst uh, who in uh, the domain or the expertise in which I have been working since last three years now, uh, I was not aware about how a BA could leverage AI opportunities and use various AI tools. Uh, like I quoted, uh, I got to explore various prompting techniques on the basis of which uh, the user stories are drafted. Uh, also, I got to know uh, from the course that there is a difference between AI machine learning and deep learning. So the key takeaway or the key difference I got to know. Also for a business analyst, okay, creating the mock screens uh, for the wireframes of the software till it is not developed, it is a quite challenging. So you, you can explore that, okay, you are supposed to create a mock screen, it does create a mock screen. So what was the most valuable takeaway from uh, this training? Valuable takeaway, yes, uh, I would uh, thank Abhishek sir for this because uh, the practical approach that he had in the course uh, by demonstrating each and every theoretical concept which pra uh, with practical examples is what I would uh, say is appreciable and was a key takeaway for me uh, from the course. So have you been able to apply any uh, AI concepts in your uh, BA activities? Can you, can you give uh, any example to our uh, audience? Yes. 
uh yeah so uh, i have been able to use ai as my senior business analyst uh, which means uh, you can use ai as your superior in your corporate life uh, which means uh, there is no requirement of any vp or avp uh, reviewing the solution document you will get your uh, missing gaps or review feedbacks beforehand if you use ai and then you uh, are supposed to uh, give the polished output after incorporating the feedback received from ai to the uh, senior business analyst so that's how you can prove uh, to be efficient at work with quality outputs of solution notes and requirement documents etc oh, that, that's great so how upskilling in ai has changed your uh, changed your career opportunities uh, webo yeah so uh, to be very frank i am not much using google search now i am using ai okay. as a, a chatbot or a chat gpt uh, you can say uh, various tools gemini so i have accepted ai as my uh, day to day life partner uh, as a companion to help me out wherever i am stuck okay so uh, th there is a specific role uh, called as prompt engineer or a ai generalist that is what i am aspiring to become so ai generalist is somebody who uh, is more into ai space and having a, a broad knowledge of how ai can be used so ai generalist is the upcoming job profile and prompt engineering also is a skill set that i am targeting to achieve oh great all right so what uh, advice would you give to uh, to an aspiring business analyst okay so um, to the new entrants or to the already uh, already budding uh, professionals uh, business analyst i would say that okay you are supposed it's high time now you are supposed to uh, come out of your uh, comfort zone and start up upskilling into ai because it is no longer a traditional business analyst which a company requires or an organization requires you have to have the tag of a ai business analyst or in the new age ai world you have to tag yourself as a ai enabled business analyst so it's uh, essential for you to upskill into ai come out of your comfort zone have a learning mindset be curious and explore opportunities experiment into ai uh, thank you webo so i feel many of our aspirants will be inspired with your story yeah and if you would like to know more about uh, this technology and if you want to leverage ai for your uh, ba tasks and you want to get into this space so please do check our course uh, in the description box thank you for watching and see you in the next session